Good morning, everybody. I did try to put a video out yesterday on my main channel, but problem is, it was a 15-minute video, but YouTube said it was going to take about three hours, meaning it's going to take three to four hours for the video to <laughs> upload. I wasn't going to have it. I finally just deleted it because I had already waited an hour for it to upload, and it said it was only going to take about an hour. And it had been uploading an hour and then it suddenly said it was going to take up to three hours or more. So I deleted it. I didn't delete the whole video. I still have the video. I just deleted the upload. Um, so today I was surprised by my good friend Mary. Um, we're kind of like sisters at heart um when you connect with people it's it's just you know um you don't have to be real relationship to feel like somebody's like your sister or whatever um and I got to tell you, she does so much for me. And and um, we met through um, searching for someone. Um, that's how we met. And we really clicked. And she's just a very special person to me. Um, and I have some very close friends um, that are... That, they're more like sisters to me than anything else. Um, Karen and Tammy and Amy and Cindy. And you all just kind of keep me on my toes. And lately I've kind of needed, <laughs> Karen and I were just talking and she says, it's that whip. And I says, yeah, you guys kind of needed to use that whip on me lately. Otherwise I'd be staying in bed all day. I wouldn't be doing nothing. I'd be Laying in bed, sleeping my life away. Um, keeping me going. Anyways, it, it, uh, she called me and we were talking. And then, um, as things progressed, she finally sent me a text. She says, your order's ready. Go pick it up. And what she did for me was yesterday, um, to do the... Um, t-shirts and things that I make and hold on let me show you one of the book bags I made okay I'm back um, it doesn't matter what material you're putting them on it doesn't matter if it's a t-shirt a book bag like this from Walmart um, if you're using an iron to heat set this you put it on 350 you cover whatever space you can with the iron. You have to move it, but you want to make sure that you're covering every inch. And by the time you're done with the front, you have to turn it inside out and do the back. And you're leaving it there in each spot for four minutes. So after you do the easy part of stenciling this, it has to dry for 24 hours or maybe a little more. I usually leave it for 36 hours or so. Then it takes about an hour for you to heat set this after it's sat. So that's a lot of moving an iron, four minutes, moving iron, four minutes, move by the time the, and then turning inside out. So, um, by the way, I absolutely love this. And I bet it's one of the first one that goes. It says, Grandpa, tell me about the good old days. I love this. I wasn't sure how this was going to work out with the color I did. But it is amazing. Um, I bought the only six book bags that Walmart had in the packages. Um, so there's that. Um, hopefully they sell and I can go to another Walmart and get more. So what Mary did for me. Sister, thank you. Um, I cannot believe she did this. Um, so I went and I picked it up. She had a curbside pickup for me. And with this item, I can literally heat set this book bag 
in like two minutes instead of one hour. Meaning, instead of spending all day doing five t-shirts and five book bags, I could be done in like one hour. This is what I went and picked up. This is the... Um, some people call it a cricket. Some people call it a cry cut. I was always raised that it was a cry cut. I know. I hear people all the time calling it a cricket. Whatever. This is the Easy Press 2. It is a heat press. Um, this one, um, it does have a control up to 400 degrees. It does have a start button with countdown timer, which is awesome. I won't need to sit there with my phone on timer all the time. Um, it's a super fast heat up time. I have one iron. And I thought about using more than one iron, but if I do that, then I'm going to get confused. And not know for sure if I've covered every space. Because I don't want it where someone's going to wash a shirt and one spot's going to wash off or fade. That would be terrible. Um, super fast heat up time, comfortable handle, advanced heat plate design, and streamlined safety base. Auto off feature. So this is like, this is $200. This is the 10 by 12. Um, and you can see the sides here. I have my light on because it is, dreary day out um so um i'm going to show you this a little better on the side here it it uh talks about set the temperature and time and apply the heat and enjoy professional results that fast so they have the smaller one but most of my stencils are eight and a half by 11 sheets, meaning what you're going to put on your item is going to be approximately seven by 10. So, because they don't come all the way out to the edges. So, um, the nine by nine one wouldn't quite cover it and I'd still be having to move it, which still it would be um, a lot less time. But, um, I wanted to, um, I left that up to Mary, which one, and she also thought this one would be better. Um, again, um, there's also a trade-off. I will be making her some t-shirts, um, which I'm excited to do. I can't wait to get started. Um, this is, and I'm going to make my own t-shirts for haunted ramblings guys okay so this isn't just for um my magnolia designs i will be doing my haunted ramblings t-shirts um i'll be just sticking with t-shirts for now um but it'll take me about a month or so probably before i start rolling out any t-shirts of any type um, and it will be a trial kind of thing first, and I want to get Mary's t-shirt started first. Hers is always going to be top, top priority. So, we're going to open this. I'm probably going to put you where you can see what I'm doing. I'm trying to figure out how to do this the best. I think I'm going to bring my chair from there over and put you on it. Hold on. Okay, here we go. We're going to open this. So, first of all, we have a little Cricut decal thing. It is actually a sticker. That's kind of neat. Um, we have our information packet. which comes with um, 
the welcome book and um, a thing to register the product. It also um, it has the uh, warranty, the extended warranty on it. So I need to put my paperwork up and let's get this out. I have some really good packaging. It's inside of a package. That is really cool. I have a shelf right here that I'm designating for this. Um, so it really doesn't have anything on it. Look at this, guys. Look at this. And it has a tray underneath it. I'm going to set this out of the way right now. Actually, what we'll do is we'll set it on the box. Because it's heavy. It's heavy, guys. We got a nice big cord. So, uh, right behind here is actually an outlet that I don't use. I'm going to get a six foot um, cord, uh, uh, you know, with a surge protector. So, this will be plugged in. Right, well, that won't work. Not if I'm going to. Well, yeah, I think it will work. I think it'll. It should because that's a long cord, another six feet. It'll definitely reach my table with no problem right there where I'll be using it. I love this canvas bag. Let's unhook this drawstring. Look at that. Keeps. Dust off of me. All right, let's take it out of look at that nice tray. I like that. That's nice to have something nice for it to set on, and it's got feet, so it won't be sliding all over the place. Okay, there we go. There we are. Now, I will tell you, I do not have a Cricut or Cry Cut machine. I do not have one. Um, it takes too much for using, because um, I don't have internet. It just takes way too much um, space on a laptop. And my laptop is full. I don't have an external drive for it, so... You know, it is what it is. So there's what it looks like. Um, let me hold it up so you can see that. It's got on off. It shows the temperature, um, timer, and you have your little buttons there. Um, that is pretty cool. I like that. Um, now, I am not going to take this out of the packaging till I get ready to actually use it. And then when I start to use this, I will do a whole demonstration of me using this for the very first time. But um, there it is. Um, and let's get this back on its tray for right now. That is so stinky cute. I love the packaging. I really like this. Um, because once I unwrap this, this will be um, open. And my AC is right here behind me. And this will be like literally four feet from my AC. And it does create dust. So having this, once this is cool, to be able to just at least cover it, whether I slide it back into the bag or not, is a huge plus in my book. I wish all the stuff came with a cover. Um, so Mary, once again, thank you, thank you. Um, she's a very sweet lady. Like I said, she lives nearby. Um, she's a farmer's wife. So she works um, pretty much every day. Um, and she's just been a huge blessing and a huge 
um, impact in my life. And she's always, you know, kind of been there for me. And I love it when she gets a moment's freedom and she actually spends some of that moment, whether it's on the phone or texting or something, it makes me feel special because with her busy schedule, she chooses to spend a little bit of that time with me. Um, that's special when someone that busy can take time out of their moments alone to say, hey, how are you doing today? Because she is a very busy person. And I don't mean farm as in little farm. I'm talking big farm. So, you know, she's always busy. Um, again, Mary, thank you. And everybody, this is really, um, really special. I can't wait to be able to do more. And, um, like I said, I can't wait to do the t-shirts for her and then start doing other things and, um, start doing the, uh, my own t-shirts without having to wait for me to, you know, do spring and all that. So everybody, thank you for watching. The next time you see this old machine, I will have read my instructions, um, learned how, what temperatures and stuff to heat set with, um, Magnolia Designs inks and, uh, we'll be rolling with some of the, uh, Magnolia, uh, stenciled shirts and book bags and the banners. So everybody, thanks for watching and I'll talk to all of you guys down in the comments below. Bye everybody.